Hello Pisces, my awesome soul brothers and sisters, Pisces. I hope you're doing wonderful wherever you are. You want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. So first, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate, whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video whether you're currently in contact with them or not first we're going to ask how this person is doing at this time and how they are currently relating to you emotionally what's on their mind what they thinking feeling at this time especially in relation to you pisces oh you're showing up as single so if somebody were to approach you and ask you if you are in a relationship you would say no you're showing up here as very independent, yeah, marriage material, yeah. I love this energy on you, whether you're male or female. And you're very good with your job or business, yeah. Oh, you recognized for your accomplishments. So whatever it is you do for a living, whether you work for yourself or somebody else, people need you. They recognize your talents, your diligent work efforts. Yeah, you are a pro at what you do. Oh, I love this. This is fabulous. Let's see. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Pisces in their life. And how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Pisces in their life? And how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? I feel I need to shuffle more. Universe, please show us what's coming up. For Pisces and oh, this one wants to be extra message what's coming up for Pisces in the life and how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey yes so again your work your job your business beautiful your diligent efforts are being rewarded yeah beautiful I'm loving this financial independence and stability are extremely important right where we don't worry about the bills how are we gonna pay this that right very important to be financially independent and stable mm -hmm. your energy is fabulous whether you're male or female yeah beautiful you have very high standards you are manifesting something of importance you are manifesting you have this beautiful manifestation energy around you you can manifest whatever you want whatever you desire with this beautiful high vibration energy that you're holding you just have to be very careful who you surround yourself with who you call your friends when you hold such high vibration energy you cannot be around toxic people people who are negative who gossip, who are nosy, yeah, who are jealous. Oh, you're going to be celebrating, yeah. This is you celebrating accomplishments, yeah, this is beautiful. You're going to be celebrating something to do with your work or business. This is good. You worry too much, though, sometimes, yeah, you worry too much. Yeah, you're very guarded emotionally. You're very careful who you trust. Yeah. Um, you're not reaching out to your soulmate. Yeah. You feel it's pointless at this point. Yeah. This is you feeling like you need to let them go. Yeah. That no matter how much work you put into it, they don't meet you halfway. You are disappointed in that person. Very disappointed. Yeah. Universe, please show us what's coming up for pisces and how is pisces currently doing on their summit journey victory victory celebration something to do with your work business finances beautiful beautiful the best card in the whole deck the sun I love this. This shows me that you are very much aware of what's going on around you. Who is authentic in your life? Who is fake in your life? You see very clearly people can BS you with any lies, any tricks, any mind games. You see right through people. Yeah. When somebody is trying to lie to you or deceive you, you see it right through them. Yeah. Very good. You are very much aware. Mm-hmm. 
Oh, this is you meeting new soulmates. I love this. This is you healing your heart from disappointments, from heartbreaks, meeting new people of quality. Yeah. You worry too much sometimes. Yeah, you worry too much. Um, certain things need to happen first before you take action in life. So believe in divine timing, knowing that certain things uh, need to be handled later than earlier. Like certain things need to happen first before you take action. So trust in divine timing, knowing that things will work out. Yeah, believe your intuition yeah don't doubt your intuition on your or your sound judgment trust your decision making yeah with this kind of energy you're holding on to possessing um you really don't need anyone's advice no mm -mm. you don't need anyone's approval yeah you see very clearly what you need to do for your highest good it was to show us What's coming up for Pisces and how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah, so based on your soulmate's behavior towards you, you view them as very irresponsible, immature, wishy-washy, not communicating effectively. Yeah, not expressing emotions. You have no respect for this person based on their behavior towards you. Yeah. And the back is turned towards you. So they really are not getting it. They don't really comprehend uh, what the issue is. Or they totally choose to ignore it, which is a bad sign. Yeah, you're not reaching out to them. You see this? Your, the sword of truth showing up here is pointing down south. You're not reaching out to them. You're letting them go. Yeah. This is good. This is you meeting new people unexpectedly, people of value. Something unexpected is going to show up in your life, like be revealed to you, and you will have to make a decision about it. So it's going to happen for your highest good. Something is going to be, something hidden from you is going to be exposed to you. You're going to find out the truth about something. Yeah, very good. Hmm. Yeah, the truth always comes out. That's one of the universal laws, that the truth will be exposed. Yeah, the lies will be shown. Mm -hmm. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Pisces and how is Pisces currently doing on their soulmate journey? Yeah. You're going to be meeting new people of significance. Yes. Yeah, this is taking care of business. This is you concentrating on your job, finances, income, money, investments, profit. Very important. Yeah. A financial stability and independence is very important to you, as it should be. Yeah. You have some jealousy towards you at your job or business. Yeah, don't let people who are negative, who gossip, who are jealous, affect you negatively. Yeah, just because you work with them doesn't mean you have to go to lunches with them, share your personal information, or see them on weekends. No. All you have to be doing is be aware of who they are and just keep it all business. Yeah. You worry too much. You don't sleep well sometimes. The soulmate that you let go of feels a lot of guilt and they're spying on you. They're showing up here as a sneaky fox. They really want to reconcile with you. They feel guilty. They feel at fault for losing you. Yeah, they do feel at fault. They do. Hmm. Let's see what's going on with that person. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with the soulmate of Pisces and how is that soulmate of Pisces towards Pisces at this time, especially emotionally? What's going on currently with that soulmate of Pisces and how is the soulmate of Pisces towards Pisces at this time, especially emotionally? Wow, so the lies will be exposed. Yeah, so they betrayed your trust. Yeah, they did. This is you finding out the truth. Seeing them for who they truly are. Yeah. They can't fool you. 
anymore. No, if they play mind games, you see it right through them. Yeah, this is this is betrayal. This is lies. This is manipulation, but it's reversed. This is you finding out their true essence, their true character is shown. Yeah. <clears throat> Ooh, new soulmate popping up for you. I love King of Pentacles energy. Yes, I love it. My favorite king of all kings. I also love king of wands. So this new soulmate will be so different from the soulmate you letting go of. Very mature, stable, grounded, marriage material. Yeah, I love this energy. You really are concentrating on your job, business, finances. Oh, the person that you're letting go of created a lot of karma for themselves because justice is reversed. It's not good. Yeah, they did you wrong and they have to deal with karma. You see, they have to deal with consequences of their actions. You see this? Yeah, they created so much karma for themselves. Mm. Yeah, when we do wrong by others, we're going to have to face Karma, yeah, that's how it works. So karma is something that cannot be avoided. We have to work through it. We have to balance karmic debts that we created with other people. Um, yeah, karma is something that cannot be prayed away or wished away. It has to be balanced by each individual soul. Yeah. Oh, my God. So they are very immature, extremely yeah, they're spying on you. This is how they act in relationships. They're used to this kind of behavior or pattern. That's all they know. They're very insecure inside. This person that you're letting go of, that betrayed you in a major way, is the opposite of the soulmate that you are going to be meeting or I'm meeting. You see this? It's like night and day. They're so opposite. Yeah, you can trust this person. I'm not saying they're perfect. There's no such thing as a perfect person. But compared to this one here, there's no comparison. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate. They're spying on you big time. This is a spycraft card more than any other. So they showed up as my two least favorite court cards to describe their behavior and character. Yeah, Knight of Wands and Page of Swords. Universe, please show us. And this is not good. You know, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of Pisces that Pisces is letting go of. Yeah, they're so scared uh, of your judgment, your rejection. Uh, they emotionally attach to this situation in you. You yourself are manifesting this new soulmate by not clinging to the toxic one that you're letting go of by understanding that you've done everything in your power to make that relationship work and it's time to say bye bye to them for good look how much guilt they feel enormous amount of guilt shame regret they know it's their fault they lost you they haven't put work into this relationship they wish to be this capable uh solid person in your life but wishing is not going to fix their behavior they're going to have to do inner work soul searching it's going to take a lot of time and inner work for them to become this reliable person in your life you see, oh yeah you see my goodness this is karma karma catching up with them you see this mm. they see clearly what they did wrong they just don't want to deal with it. Yeah, they're used to taking shortcuts in life, not taking accountability for their mistakes, for hurting people. Um, they're used to making excuses for their wrong behavior. That's not good. You see how much karma they have stored? Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. They're very stubborn. They want to make themselves known in your life again but that's not up to them it's up to you you don't have to see them or talk to them if you don't want to they really tried to let you go they really did but they can't they are feeling so much guilt regret this is how they view you marriage material attractive wow you matching energy with the new soulmate i love it you and new soulmate match energies 
Queen of Pentacles with King of Pentacles. I love it. Beautiful connection. Oh my God. Look how heartbroken they are over losing you. Devastated. This is the worst card in the whole deck. And it's interesting that we have the best card in the whole deck and the worst card in the whole deck together on top of karma. You see this? So this person, whatever heartbreak they caused you and others, they're feeling it and they don't like how it feels, but that's the karma that they created for themselves by not taking accountability for their selfish actions. They like to blame others. They like to complain, whine, and it caught up with them. You see, they feeling all the pain they caused others, including you, they feeling it. Mm. Karma caught up with them. Yeah. Oh boy. But they have no one to blame for this but themselves. Hopefully they'll start learning. But that's that's to be to be seen. That will have to be seen whether they try to run away from this or face the music. Yeah. You know, please show us what's going on currently with this soulmate of Pisces that Pisces is letting go of. Look how unbalanced they are. Everything in their life is chaotic, dramatic. They realize that they didn't meet you halfway. You see how little work effort they put into this relationship and how much more you did. A lot of you are dealing with Aquarius, Capricorn, Taurus showing up here. This was a serious relationship for you, whether you were married or planning to be married, hoping to be engaged or living together. It was a serious relationship. You have no idea how badly they want to fix this, correct this. Yeah, it was a serious relationship. Yeah, it was. Oh my goodness. Yeah. We're going to go into your extended reading, Pisces. But we're going to ask about not just this person, but also the new soulmate that's entering your life that showed up as king of pentacles very significant in your life yeah and other soulmates that showed up with three of cups so first we're going to ask about this soulmate's true genuine long-term intentions and plans for you what they planning long term then we're going to ask what they currently hiding from you what they have up their sleeve whether they hiding it on purpose or can't communicate for whatever reason but the universe feels you need to be aware of for your highest good and of course at the end we're gonna ask advice for you on how to best handle this soulmate connection at this time and anything else you need to know about your life including new soulmate entering your life the king of pentacles energy and the three of cups energy new chapters new beginnings in your life also your health finances, business, job opportunities, family matters, friendships, whatever it is you need to know, they'll show it at the end of the reading as well. So Pisces, click on the extended link below this video in the description box below, and I'll see you there. Love you guys.